Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So I never really know when to start the button and then say good morning because I think that there's a slight delay anyway. Uh, anyway, hey, how's it going? Uh, I moved my camera again uh, because I'm trying to get my setup like the perfect way I want to set up but it's a little harder than I originally thought. So I'm still looking down here to make sure you guys can see me and make sure I'm not glowing. Uh, <laughs> Cause there will be spots where I move where it's like, ah, there I am. I'm glowing or like right here. Cause I get too close to the lights and it's like, Okay, so I don't know what day I'm going to be doing the glue book. I just know I really want to play in the glue book. And I wanted to show you guys what I had done with it so far. And I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the last page. But, um, so I added this part here. You guys weren't there for that. I added that part right there. And then um, I also did all of the pages except the last one. So I'm just trying to get my my shirt situated here. So I've got all of the pages double paged and I washi around the edge of them. And I thought that was going to take a lot of washi. It didn't. So uh, this one, this one was kind of a, I wonder what would happen if, and so I did it and I was like, Ooh, that's really cool. So this is what I did. I took a piece of parchment paper and I laid it in between two pieces of paper and then sealed the outside with the washi tape. So I'm going to do that. And I'm probably going to need another container of stuff. I don't know because it does last a long time, but this one is almost empty. Well, it's normally not this, there it is. It's normally not that hard to open, like, at all. It's really weird. So, anyway, what I did was, and I just used a tape gun, actually, for the other one. Um, I did not use white glue. But I figured I'm already using this. It's already going to be out. So, might as well, right? And then close this one on top of that one. And grab some washi. This is the washi that I used. And we're going to do that one. And I did use glue stick on top of, or underneath rather, the other glue stick. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. So I got a Christmas card in the mail and I was so excited. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. So I'm going to show you the Christmas card that I got. And I'm just, like I said, I thought it was really sweet. Um, cause I, I know how people really enjoy getting, you know, Christmas cards or just happy mail in general. And so I'm actually sending out a ton, <laughs> a ton of Christmas cards. Um, so I'm doing the Christmas card swap with Missy and I'm pretty much sending out a Christmas card to anyone who has helped support me in the last year and a half. Um, as long as I have your address. Now, I'm not necessarily doing all of my Etsy orders, which that might be another option. I don't know, maybe. Um, but that is, unfortunately, there's not like a section within my Etsy that I can just be like, I'm going to pull up my address book now. Like with Square, I can just pull up my whole address book and just, you know, go by that. It's still pretty intensive to move the addresses from wherever it is you have them 
into either um, like writing on your labels or typing them up in like uh, Avery.com is one that I like. So I was actually handwriting the labels. Uh, I don't have anything I can show you. Okay, yeah, I do. So I print these labels off and I put these labels on, um, on my envelopes as I, excuse me, as I make orders. Anyway, I hand wrote two sheets of this. Wayne comes in and he's like, what are you doing? I was like, uh, I need to write the addresses for everybody for the Christmas cards. And he was like, can I help you? I was like, uh, yeah, if you want to sit here and handwrite all these, you know, addresses. <laughs> he was like, uh, do people have to read them? It's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> like the post people have to read them. And, uh, so he was just like, yeah, that's probably not the best idea then. Where did my, that oh, one's right in front of me. Anyway, he was just like, yeah, that's probably not the best idea then. I was like, okay, well, what about typing them? Can you type them? Because I mean, I've, I'm writing them on address labels. He's like, yeah, I can do that. So he actually typed up the last like 50 <laughs> addresses that I have. Or no, he said it was like 40 or 50. I don't know, but it wasn't too many. Um, and because he brought me my book. That's what I had at the beginning of the str our stream. At the beginning of the video was my address book. And he brought it back to me. And I was like, wait, you're done? It's like, yeah, there was only like 40 or 50 left. I was like, only? <laughs> Seems like a lot to me. But anyway, okay. So I've never actually done a glue book before, but I've gathered a couple things. Oh, let me show you this card real quick. I've gathered a couple things that uh, I felt like I wanted to put into a glue book. Um, so this is my card. I'm going to show you this side. This is just the envelope. And then that's my address, um, which I don't really care if it's out there because I live behind a military gate. So um, good luck trying to get to my house. <laughs> and by the time, you know, something really bad might happen or whatever, I probably won't be here because we move very often. Anyway, isn't he cute? I love him. He is so adorable. Anyway, this is from uh, Miss Allison Davis, and I thought it was just the cutest, cutest thing. Uh, so thank you very much, Miss Allison. And oh, you know what? Can I put you in my glue book? I can put you in my glue book. Let's do that. And I love Santa. So Santa is awesome sauce. So what I'm going to do with you is let's make this something and then you know what i have got a whole bunch of Ooh, can we put a doily in here i guess it's our book we can do whatever we want i like the doily uh oh and then i got these the other day at uh tuesday morning and i got them for the purpose of cutting them to shreds and putting them in my glue book uh, because they're pretty and look isn't that pretty my washer and or dryer is going off I can hear it beeping at me um, the other side is glittery so do we want the glitter and then these are like little postcard type dealios so there's that and that, but I've got a whole bag, I thought full of stuff that I had cut out. I know I have it somewhere. I also have scraps. Yeah. Because that was my whole, like this trash to treasure thing was because I had so much of the, uh, cut, cut out dealios. That I didn't know what to do with them and now I can't find them at all. Which is great. Ooh. 
I'm going to have to resize this, but I want to use this. So if you are looking for this, then you need to send Melissa a, um, a message and uh, she will get you the file of this. I believe they're a dollar a piece. And um, she actually has another one too. And it's super cute. So I'm just cutting him down a little bit. His name is Sammy. And he's a Sasquatch. Apparently, Sasquatches are like a very big deal in PA. And I had no idea. She thought I was alien. I'm fairly certain she thought I was an alien because I had no idea what she was talking about. But then again, I don't really get into folklore here either. Because um, she was just like, yeah, the people in the South, they like have this, that or another. And she started naming off some stuff. And I was like, we live on a swamp. I mean, there might be some like swamp lore or something. Is that like a thing? So maybe. Oh, I got to cut more. I don't want to. Maybe I can use it over here. Yeah, let's use it over here. That way I don't have to cut anymore. I'll just cut it down right there. And we'll put something behind that. So you can use pretty much anything you want for um, glue books. You don't have to use, um, you know, your traditional magazines. I'm not going to. I don't have enough magazines to do that with. Like, I just don't. As it was, I had to go out and buy magazines just so I'd have something to cut up. And now I can't even find them. They're, they're somewhere. I don't know where they're at. But anyway, I saw somebody made a comment about how they want to do the glue book. I think you should go for it. Because you don't have to have magazines. You can tear apart books. You can tear apart um, scrapbook paper. Like, it could be anything. I don't know why I'm putting that over there. My scraps are over here. And I still need to find what I did with this piece. Like, these are all the scraps, I think. Yeah, so what are you? That must be something else. Yeah, that's, I think, from just the fairy stuff or the fantasy stuff. I can't believe I've lost it. I've like, I have so much stuff that I sat there and cut out and now it's all gone. My desk is a mess, which is why, why I was going through and reorganizing everything. I'm going to have to bring it back up why I was going back and reorganizing everything so I could actually get to things because there was just so much stuff everywhere. Do I want the cream or the blue? Let's do it this way. Because I think the green will make Sammy pop more. Contrasting colors and all. And because there is so much that Sammy is covering, I can actually go here and here. All right. And here. And we can use that somewhere else. All right. So put that like that, put that like that. And you can make glue books just like you make anything else. You can make it with little to no effort in thinking about what's going on, or you can give it a lot of thought and be like, you know what, I'm going to make this cohesive and, you know, I'm going to do this, that or another, you do whatever you want. It's a great thing about glue books, I think. That's just my opinion. 
Um, yeah, I'm glad I brought the other one over because this one is like very empty. And I will use the other page as my glue page because, I mean, it's going to get glue on it anyway at some point. And this is Matte Medium by Finnabar by Prima. I had to find it on Etsy because um, I bought it first. The very first time I bought it, I bought it on Amazon. I buy a lot of my tools and such on Amazon. Somebody asked me, where do I get my tools, my like glues and such? Amazon. I get a lot of stuff from Amazon because I like Amazon. All right. Anyway, I had to find it from Etsy. And the great thing about this is I can put this right on top and it's not going to change the texture of the paper too much because it doesn't dry glossy at all. And yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, hold that. You know, I'm sad because I know that I've got this stuff somewhere. And I don't know where I put it. Oh, and I got this in one of my Happy Mouth Thing My Bobs. Like a, a shop when I did a recent order. So I'm going to put that down. Phew, that is a lot of glue. You don't need quite that much glue. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. It just might take five hours to dry. Oh, I can't see the time. I'm going to have to move things around. All right. So this is just tissue paper. Well, I like the texture. That. And tissue paper is just like napkins in the sense of goes on fairly easily. I'm going to wait for this to dry a little bit before I chomp it up because I don't want to rip it off the page. But I do need to move this so I can see a little bit better. Wow, I've already been recording for 18 minutes. What? That's crazy. Well, I guess a glue book, you're not really doing a whole lot of like quick get it down type of things. It's, I don't know. I think that it would, you would think that it would go faster, not slower. I don't know. Ooh, I know. Let's put, uh, let's put my card right here because he's Santa. So I'm just going to glue him straight down just like that. Um, and you use whatever type of glue you want. Or you could throw it on yourself like I just did. I mean, there is that, I guess. And then, let's see, what else do I have? Ooh. Tis the season. Put you right there. You're pretty. And see, this is an embellishment that I made using stickers and such. So you can put whatever you want in your glue book. It's your glue book. 
doesn't have to be a ma from a magazine. Like I just did both of these pages and nothing from either one of these pages is from a magazine. So I know that a very common place to get images and things is from a magazine, but I think that's because uh, a lot of people have magazines in the abundance. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Just use whatever you got. That's what I say. Anyway. All right. Let's see. Uh, what's on this side? Oh, tis the season again. Let's do that again. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Let's put you right there. Oh, you can't see me because my big old head's in the way. Put it right here. All right, and y'all have to let me know if you like that thing right there. <laughs> and like if I should move it around. I don't know. I think it's pretty good right there though, but I don't know. It's something new I'm trying out. I used to hide from the camera. I was afraid of the camera. Now I just want to embrace it because, well, I am doing YouTube after all, you know? So why not? You could also, um, instead of cutting it, you could take a sand block and sand it like For those who have sensitive ears, mute a ton away. But I'll just take it and do this. Like I said, it's the same concept as a napkin. It's got the same properties as a napkin. So if you can do that with a napkin, then you can do that with the tissue paper. And then put that over there. Oi! Give me my tissue paper back. Hold that. And I really want to put a doily over here. So I'm um, like after 20 minutes already. So we'll do one more layout here and possibly. I really want to get the doily on. That's the big thing. Um, so I actually dyed these doilies using the stains by Miss Patty Vermontes over, um, you can get it from her Etsy shop. And it's Patty Pockets is the name of the stain. Oop. But yeah, um, I think that there's a very big misconception that you have to use magazines, which I don't, I don't think that there's any rules. I mean, I think that it's just like any other crafting. I don't think there's really rules to determine what you have to do with it. You know, that's funny because there was a article that I read in my noom and it's just like, do the unexpected, do what, you know, people have said, don't do like have a food fight. Like, I mean, it's really not breaking any rules, right? Just do it. I mean, what's the worst going to happen? You're going to have a mess to clean up, but I bet you're going to have a whole lot of fun in the process, right? Oh, I mean, it had some examples that I was like, you know, <laughs> I know it's not a rule and all, but I'm still not doing that because it's just weird. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think that there are, I think there's too many rules put on the creative world. And I'm not one for rules and creativity. Most people that know, uh, know me and have been with me for a minute know I'm not big on creative rules. I am very big on creative freedom. You know, you want to do this, that or another, do it. 
you know what, someone tells you that that's not allowed or, you know, that doesn't belong in that category, that's okay. They don't have to like it. Somebody will. And as long as you like it, that's all right. That's all that matters. Because you're just doing it to make yourself happy. Right? And that is what matters. Uh, can we use this? <clears throat> Let's put you up there. I'm not sure what this page is going to entail yet. Uh, I'm sure it would help a ton if I had my magazines or my magazine clippings rather, because I cut out a whole, whole bunch. We're going to have to do that in another, another session because I cut out like a bunch of stuff, but it's gone. I'm sure it's not gone. It's probably under something somewhere. And of course I didn't find it before I turned the camera on because that would be that would make way too much sense. That's logical. Why would I do that? Uh, is it just me or is this like really dark? Is that better? Of course, now that, you know, the video is over, I'm going to fix the lighting. Good job. You could also um, put other things on here. Like, you know, whatever. Doesn't have to be anything in particular. You think it's pretty? Put it down. The whole point of a glue book, to my understanding, is you put stuff on a page that makes you feel good. Put stuff on a page that is going to make you smile. And there is no wrong answer for that. Well, I mean, I guess there could be a wrong answer for that. Depends on what makes you smile, I suppose. But... That is adorable. Can y'all see that? Isn't that cute? Um, so I am using a composition book, but you could probably use better quality paper. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is my first glue book, so I'm learning as I go. But it's working so far for me. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I love the Santa. I'm going to put him right there. This is like one of my favorite Santas. I just like Santa. Am I weird? Does anybody else really like Santa? It's like what he represents, you know? He rep represents magic and belief. Innocence. Like, I don't know. I just really like Santa. And of course, I decided to do a glue book. And what happens when I glue people? I get quiet. Why? I don't know. I have yet to figure that out. Like, I can't be quiet when people want me to be quiet. I be quiet when I'm gluing. How much sense does that make? And you know, I think I might try out some other glues as well. Uh, because this particular one is really amazing. But it's on the pricier side. So I'm going to try out maybe the uh, glue stick. Because the glue stick's great. And I have a lot of that, actually. Um, but I'm using a lot of this medium. And I'm not sure I want to do that. <laughs> I mean, I'll seal it all when it, once it's done. But I think that might be a little less crazy with everything. There's a red doily. Put you up there. I like doilies. They're fun. You know, 
We're just going to put you right there. I don't know what I'm going to title this yet. I mean, obviously, if it's already aired, then y'all know what I titled it. But you're at a disadvantage because I don't know what I'm titling this thing yet. A glue session, maybe? I don't know. But I know that it's going to be something cool. Uh, I know I could just be like glue book with no magazines. <laughs> I don't want to title it that though, because I'm going to use a magazines eventually just happen to not be in this particular episode only because I can't find them or gone. Like <laughs> they're gone. So yeah. That was way too much. Is anybody else like that? Do you get quiet when, like, certain times, gluing, cutting, driving? Uh, I know some people get really quiet when they're looking for something if they're driving. You know, maybe I should just grab some napkins uh, to play with next time. Because uh, I think I might have a couple napkins. You know, just a couple. I got my finger. All right. Where's that? What time is it? Oh, it's seven o'clock. Oh, okay. So I'm doing this at night. Um, what is my time? Oh, 32 minutes. Yeah. Let's wrap this up. Okay. So. I'm going to uh, wash out my brush and then we're going to continue to play with this some more at a later date. So uh, I'm going to find my magazines first or I, hadn't, I know where my magazines are. I'm going to find my magazine clippings that I've like spent days cutting out and then we are going to go back to play with this some more. So uh, what I have right now, I'm going to actually have to get some parchment paper to put in between these two pieces. Otherwise, they're just going to stick together. Um, but we have these two pieces here. And this piece. Actually, I'm going to do two pieces. That way I can just close it, like fold it and close it. All right. And I got this out. I got this off of uh, Amazon as well. So we've got this spread here and this is not done, but we've got this spread here and we've got this spread here as well. Now, this particular Christmas card did go in this glue book. Uh, it was the very first one that I've gotten this season from one of my subscribers. So it's going in here. Uh, depending on how many I get, if I only get a couple, then I'll put them all in here. But if I get like 45, <laughs> I can't put them all in here. They're not going to fit. Uh, which I don't think I'm going to get 45. But there we go. That's it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this and let that be. And then I will see you guys all in the next session of the glow book. Um, we might do a December daily before we get to the next section of this. But I know I have to work on some Christmas cards because I got a couple that I want to send out. 
So I know that's going to be on the project list. Uh, and don't forget the trash to treasure that's on the project list. I'm pretty excited for that one. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that's it for now, but, uh, <laughs> who knows? I keep coming up with all these things to do. So I might just keep adding to my list of things to do anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been fun. I hope the long video doesn't dissuade you a little bit, uh, but I had a lot of fun and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.